George and I have been researching the probability of if a penny could kill someone if you dropped it from the Empire State Building. Hi, my name is George and I'm going to be explaining why it is not possible for a penny to kill someone falling off the Empire State Building. Pennies weigh only 2.5 grams and are very small, as small as a bottle cap. Since they are this small and that the acceleration of free fall is always 9.8 miles per second, it will take a penny 9 seconds to fall off the Empire State Building. Also, you have to count in the force of air, which would slow down the penny even more, which in turn would make it to start tumbling. This would make it extremely a, a lot slower, which would make it just seem like a slight sting if a person would get to, would be hit in the head. A penny has a terminal velocity of just 25 miles per an hour, and the coin would tumble as it fell. Therefore, a penny cannot kill someone and will only bounce off the top of their head. The only way this can be possible, if it was in an airless environment, this is because the penny would be able to go through the top of the head of a human because it is not being forced back by the force of air and is not tumbling. Thank you. The way I calculated if a penny would actually kill someone is by using joules. One joule is defined as the amount of energy exerted when a force of one newton is applied over a displacement of one meter. And the calculation for joules is joules equals force or newtons times distance or meters. If you use the grams to newtons formula to find the newtons of a penny, you will end up with something around 0 0.02. If you then insert newtons 0 0.02 into the joules formula, joules equals force or newtons times distance or meters, and then insert 1,250 for the size of the Empire State Building, you will end up with 25 joules. Although 25 joules may seem like a lot, it takes 80 to 150 joules to kill someone. So a penny will not kill someone, but it will hurt them a little bit.